Hey guys, I'm back today and today I wanted to talk about my three key pointers to starting your minimalism journey. If you are inspired by somebody here on YouTube, a book you read, or a family member, or anyone else in your life that is a minimalist and you want to start this journey but you feel overwhelmed or you don't know where to start, then hopefully you can find some inspiration from this video. So my number one tip would be to evaluate why you want to do this journey. And I can't stress the importance of this step, step because if you start blindly because somebody else is doing this and you want to start without sitting down and evaluating and looking at the big picture of what your goals are and what you're looking to achieve from this journey, points in your journey where you fe would feel confused or would feel sort of like, what's the point of this? It takes so much work or just might lose your motivation. So if you sit down and really look at the big picture, what am I really trying to achieve from this journey? I promise you that anytime you lose motivation or you feel overwhelmed, keeping that big picture in mind will help you get through that. We've been into this journey a little over five months now and it's taken us this long to finally get to a point where we feel like that everything has officially been purged out of our our homes and now we're at that point where we're moving to minimalism of the mind and minimalism of time and other things so it, it's it's a long process we did it continuously for five months so every single evening and all weekends like we wouldn't schedule anything we kept our commitments to very very minimal basically until we were done with this because once you start I felt like like we didn't want to lose that momentum and it also made us realize that how much easier it is to go out and buy things than it is to purge things. It's like a full-time job selling things, getting rid of things, convincing people to come pick up things from your home. It's a process and if you don't know why you're doing it, you will get overwhelmed and you're going to lose momentum. So start there. So personally, if you guys have been following my journey, then you know that I did this because clutter makes me feel very anxious and it also takes a lot of time away from things that I actually bring me joy because I'm responsible for managing my household and cleaning and organizing and all that stuff. That's just time away from my family, my business, and the things that really bring me joy. So that was my reason. And keeping that reason at the forefront of this is why I'm doing this really got me through those times where I'm like, oh God, like this is so much more work than I ever imagined, like getting rid of stuff. So definitely have a why to begin with. And my tip number two would be the easiest place to start is to start with duplicates because that's the easiest, like most convincing argument is if you have four of something and if you're only using one, then start by getting rid of two and maybe just keeping one as a backup. And this was really helpful for us because it was very hard all of a sudden to purge so many things at once, but we did it in layers. So if you guys saw like my even my kitchen, I think we did three rounds of our kitchen. The first time around, we only got rid of like maybe 20 things and that felt so good and everything was so organized that we went a second round and we got rid of maybe 30 things and then so the easiest way is to get rid of at least one duplicate of everything and that could be a duplicate scarf it could be a, a duplicate blender it could be a duplicate toy of something that you know is pretty much the same thing so if you have like three decks of card maybe you just can get rid of one and I think just by doing like a little exercise and practicing that way will give you the motivation that you need to be able to purge more and it like for us and I hear a lot of other minimalists that they do it in layers so for some odd reason I wish there was like one way to like sweep your whole house and do it but it was just psychologically easier to do it in layers so if that's something um, you're going to do I would definitely start with duplicates my tip number three would be to don't worry about the common areas and the areas where you have to make joint decisions with somebody else first. Stick with doing your own personal belongings. So you could do your wardrobe, your shoes, your books, your nightstand, anything that just where it's just your decision and then sit with that and see how that feels and then kind of work at areas where you have joint decision making with somebody else like living room knickknacks or maybe a common uh, bedroom or things like that where you kind of can take more time and make those decisions jointly where you're not like stepping on somebody else's boundaries or anything like that. So those are my three tips for starting with minimalism. And a 
another bonus tip I'll, I'll give you guys is to realize that minimalism is not just about stuff. It's also about time management and media and social media management and that's where I'm now shifting my my gears toward. The time management thing was fairly easy because we blocked off so many weekends when we were doing this, we realized that we didn't miss a lot of those commitments. So there were some that we you know, would like to keep like um, eating out with family and friends and things like that, but there were so many other commitments that we would sign up for and later dread and they didn't really bring anything much to our life. And by being able to say, hey, we have a project going on this weekend or we have a broad sale going on or we're cleaning this weekend, we got out of a lot of things and we realized that we didn't want to add them back on. So keep that in mind to maybe lock away a couple of weekends to get through this and then that will also give you some time to think commitments over and see which ones you missed and which ones really didn't bring you any joy so you would like to stay away from those. And my other tip is to also think of minimalism of the mind, like mental clutter. Um, we don't have cable anymore and I find that so much more relaxing because and I'm not constantly seeing ads and things like that, at least from TV, I mean, I still see them online. But that helps me not have to like process more information and be, um, and just have like a less cluttered mind. The other thing I did is I, obviously my business is on social media, so, you know, I can't completely shut everything off, but I did reevaluate like how much time I was spending on different social media and if that was really even growing my business or bringing me any sort of uh, pleasure so like Instagram and Facebook I've really minimized to where I only log in maybe once every couple of days and YouTube I do have to log in several times a day because obviously that is my a bulk of my business so that is just something that I'm doing to have just more time and clarity of mind and not be spending so much time online where I am bombarded by different messages and different things like that. So those are my tips. Let me know if you guys have any tips for starting your minimalism journey and leave them below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.